We're at the point now of, oh, it's just <laughs> such a beautiful point. Actually making real choices and real decisions in your life. It's kind of been limited lately by this, the beauty of the destiny. And I know sometimes very frustrating for you. But now, as the Master comes into your life, bringing all the wisdom, and now the true choices are going to be made available to you again. As you make choices in your life, there will be clarity to them, and there will be a lot of wisdom. One of the big things that happens in oh, the immaturity being exposed is you wonder if you can, you can really handle it. I wonder if you can really, if you're going to mess things up, if you're going to do things wrong. That's been such a pervasive thought, a pervasive feeling for so long now on this spiritual journey. Am I going to mess it up? We can't. Not with the wisdom. You couldn't before because also of this destiny. Yes, this destiny, from the moment you said, I'm done with the old way of human experiences, the destiny, is kind of limited or clouded choices in order to bring about your truest desire, fulfillment, realization. Now that destiny is giving way to true wisdom. The, the Father can move aside to let the son or the daughter now have their own life. I'm going to give a very strange uh, kind of an example of maturity. At least Carlder thinks it's strange. He's double checking with me. Maturity. I'm going to use. I'm going to use marijuana as an example. Oddly enough, maybe ten, twenty, thirty years ago, you were exposed to marijuana. You smoked it to get high. For a thrill, for an experience. And it was illegal. It was illegal. And there's those who said that you smoke marijuana, you're going to get addicted to drugs and pornography and everything else in the world. And it was the devil's brew. Don't touch it. But you did it anyway. A lot of you got really high at times. A lot of you kept on getting high all the time. You could say it was, well, we were trying to find other realities, something beyond. But in the immaturity, you would just get high, you just get loaded. We found it was a nice little escape from everyday life, so you just get loaded. That's really immature. Fun, but immature. Eventually, probably really didn't give you any great big breakthroughs or insights or anything else. But now we fast forward to our time now. You realize actually all the benefits of marijuana. Relieves aches and pains, stabilizes 
children with epilepsy. It's actually going to be shown in its uh, non-hallucinogenic forms to greatly reduce the effects of Alzheimer's. I'm not talking about the kind that gets you high necessarily, but you see it was always there. It was always there within marijuana, but the immature person or society would look at it just as a tool for getting high. Whereas the mature being, the one who has the wisdom of the Master and the experience of the human, realizes it's not the devil's tool. It's not just for getting high and trying to avoid life. There's so much more to it. It has amazing uh, medicinal benefits for the body and the mind. You don't have to have the potent ingredients that just uh, puts one into an altered state. You can do it without that. That's maturity. That's awareness. But 30 years ago, 20 years ago, well, you didn't have the consciousness, the awareness, the maturity to realize it, so it was just a recreational drug. I'm using this as kind of an odd example of the difference between an immature and a mature being. You're going to start seeing things that you never saw before because we had a narrow bandwidth. And no, I'm not promoting marijuana here. I'm just saying that's an example. There's so much more that only a being with wisdom can feel or experience. There's so much more to everything in life that may not have been in the awareness of the immature being. Allowing in the wisdom of the Master Truly one of the most profound things you've ever done brings wisdom, insight, maturity, it brings many, many levels of awareness, and it brings sensuality, tremendous sensuality. Without this wisdom that you've been allowing in these last few years, without this wisdom, you would have not had the balance to handle a truly sensual life. You'd have just gotten high off of sensuality. Just a temporary high, rather than realized all of the beauty of it. When you allowed the Master to come into your life, allowed the wisdom to start coming in, the human wanted to try to take that wisdom for, their, for them, to claim the wisdom, to claim their intelligence. But slowly, slowly, as the Master has come in, as the light has come in, as you've allowed it to fall on you, you realize that it's not for the human to claim this wisdom or claim intelligence or superpowers. It's for the human to walk hand in hand, to sing heart to heart, with the Master. With this wisdom coming in, you've come to realize it's not up, for the, up to the human to have to try to manage and control everything. It works out. It just works out when the human continues with experience, but lets that Master part of themselves bring in the wisdom, the synchronicity, the alignment, resonance. You did two things that are profound. One, I said, I'm done with the repetitive nature of lifetimes on the planet. I'm done with that. You didn't even say, I want more. You just said, I want out. And then the second most profound thing was, 
opening yourself, allowing in the master, the wisdom. Few people will ever do that. They're afraid to let something that big, which is also themselves, into their life. Or they're willing to have some other entity or angel come in, but few are ever really willing to let something that big, which is also part of themselves, into their lives because they're scared of themselves. They don't trust themselves. You allowed yourself into your life. I brought in wisdom that is still difficult for you to define. What does it mean? What exactly is it? But you have a feeling for it. And in doing so, it's releasing right now as we speak it's releasing this soul destiny well, it wasn't a bad thing at all no no it was very good it was it was like a like a life jacket but it made it so that some of the human choices just were not going to be were not going to come the soul destiny, it meant that certain human needs and wants, immature needs and wants, were just not going to happen. But now that changes. That movement that you feel, that things kind of coming apart, dissolving away, that motion that you feel at a certain level of awareness is simply the soul destiny no longer having to be there. It's been replaced by wisdom, maturity. I'm not sure if the human is happy or sad about all that. I'm not sure if the human resents this, kind of this destiny. I know the human always likes to think they're free, but very few actually are. The human always likes to think it has choices, but very few really make choices in their lives. You had this destiny that kept you from wandering off, getting lost. Now you've got wisdom. You don't need that jacket of protection anymore. It'll slowly, slowly fade away. You don't need it. You've got the maturity now. Commune with that for a moment. Feel into that. And I cannot emphasize this enough. You cannot do it wrong. You cannot make mistakes. Everything that's happening in your life right now is all part of your realization, whether it's a health issue, financial, just contending with yourself. It is all part of realizing what is actually already done. So, dear human, stop. Stop working it. Stop planning it. Stop fearing it. That's really what I want to say is stop fearing it. Now, imagine 
imagine something that's actually here now. Making real choices in your life. Not choices of uh, what kind of coffee you're going to order or what color shoes you're going to wear. I mean real choices in your life. Not scary choices. Not choices between black and white, but choices of potentials. What to experience next. What to open up next. Real choices, how to how to dive deeply into the I am and have hit the dive deeply into you. Real choices. Choices that you would have been afraid to make before this. And some choices, big choices, career and where to live and partners, yes, some of that, but even bigger choices in your life. Choices that, in a way, weren't really available to you before because of this destiny factor. But now it is. With maturity, with wisdom, feel into that for a moment. The mature, wise being that you are, now really able to consciously choose without fear. Without a lot of inner anxiety, choosing what you want to experience next. Let's take a good deep breath with that. You have the opportunity in in your life, oh, in the next between now and our next shout, indeed. For these type of choices, not not where you're going to go to dinner or what you're going to watch on the telly, but real choices. Once again, it's going to feel a little awkward. You know, these were kind of taken out of your um, well potential closet for a while, unavailable. Now it's coming back. If you feel any anxiety when, when this choice, uh, when you realize that choice is, is right there, if there's any anxiety, take a good deep breath and commune then with the wisdom, your wisdom. Good deep breath. <laughs> 